Hi folks, it's Todd with Survival Sherpa. Today I saw a, um, a picture of something very interesting today um, online that I'd never seen before. Um, it's called a parring ladder. And it's basically a ladder that can be used as a shaving horse. Um, it got me to thinking, I just finished up this axe handle um, the other day and this is that this is that uh, double bit axe handle that I carved out of that piece of hickory. And if you can see it, I'm bringing it up here a little bit closer. Um, I think it turned out okay. And using my shaving horse at the house, um, I was able to do this and, and also use my shop bent, bench vise. But um, it got me to thinking out here at my base camp, um, it'd be nice to have some type of uh, uh, method to hold wood and and um, do a little shaving on it if I had to um, if I wanted to make some stuff around camp some furniture whatever uh, just be, be nice to have a uh, some kind of contraption that would hold wood in place yeah, but we're gonna take these two eight-foot poles and try and make a, uh, a shaving ladder or as I guess the proper term is a paring p-a-r-i-n-g I guess that's how they pronounce it, parring ladder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lash these um, about a foot and a half down from the end, the top. And um, when I spread it, we'll lean this against a tree uh, and then build two or three ladder rungs down here. And uh, hopefully we can make us a, uh, a ladder shaving horse. I'm telling you, man, having some, this, uh, saw buck out here at camp. I use it for so many projects. It's a wonderful addition to my camp. It's, it's like a saw horse. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. We're gonna tighten that down and then terminate that, that end right there. That's joined it all together. Now I'm gonna lift this back up just a little bit. Lay it on that leg of the, all right. So now what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and tie us two half hitches, which will basically create a um, get in there, clove hitch. I like to make it pretty. <laughs> But sometimes it just it's functional and I don't worry too much about it. Okay, there's one half hitch. I'm gonna lift this back up a little bit. So I can get another half hitch in here. Pull it all down, make it look as neat as I can. I'm going to put one more in it, just for good measure. All right, let's tighten that down. All right, this is what we got. We've got this split open. It's basically a tripod lash and um, we got it split open and the V up here is just going to lean right in that vertex of that joint we just created. <laughs> this piece of cedar here was a piece that was left over from building my shelter over there. So um, we're just going to drive this down, get a, get a wedge started going. I've got a couple wedges here that I've uh, used before to split long locks. Pretty. OK, 
Okay. This is the work side, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shave this off a little more. We've got a couple of knots there. That's going against it. Once we get this, if it works, once we get this in the uh, in the ladder, we'll take our draw knife. I brought a draw knife today, and we'll clean this up a little bit. But for now, I think that's going to work. That's what it looks like. Just a little quick plank. Oh, and the cedar bark scraped it off the outside here for tender. Excellent stuff. Show you what the idea is right here so we're going to lash this piece here and um, this board our platform is going to go up under here there will be another rung up under this about maybe a foot or so and it's coming together. I think it may work. Okay. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Now that is one ugly last job right there. All right, I'm gonna measure and cut for our second rung. So hang on. I've got a rung here and a rung here. The ones that I saw uh, used back in 1700, 1800s, had three rungs and it didn't have the fork at the end. It was basically a ladder that was built for this purpose with a wide base narrow at the top. But um, we've got it in here and the friction behind it I think is going to do fine. So we're going to put, the, put a uh, draw knife to it and just see what it does. Now the thing is, is you've got to put some kind of, uh, some kind of pressure here with your thigh, but This is just the plank. This is not the stock that I'll be using. I like it. The surface looks like now. It was hewn with my axe and uh, it, with a draw knife, smoothing it down like a cedar board. Still got some knots that, that uh, I'm not going to worry about but this is going to be my platform that we'll use to put another piece of stock in there for example this is how it would, how it would work is if i put a uh let me back you up a little bit if i wanted to round this um basically with the notch under here i can just put that piece there and even without the notch, I put a little pressure on it back here on my thigh, right down here. And I should be able to hold this. Let's see if it works. Perfect. Being able to use this out here at base camp, out in the woods, um, it's pretty simple design. Yeah, I'm going to have to notch this thing though. Because when I hit that knot, we start to give way.
see how just one notch works. Much better. That notch right here holding this in place from any slippage there. I just need to put pressure down here on the leg on my thigh. A little bit of downward pressure. And I'm feeling. Peeling it off. So, camp furniture Yeah, see we got a knot right there That's going to cause trouble with the vise With the shaving, shaving ladder um, But anyway, again with a good straight grain piece of wood. I don't see any problem at all with shaving this thing down. You could make bows, axe handles, camp furniture, whatever you want to do. It's the knots that's gonna give you a problem. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with this. And of course, this could also be used, this ladder could also be used as a uh, camp chair with a wool blanket or something. Easily tie that off, get a wool blanket in between here with another piece of pole, and you've got a good camp chair. So, again, I hope that, uh, hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I found it very interesting that, uh, that this kind of technique was used for hundreds of years, and I'd never heard of it. Of course, there's a lot of things like that in my life. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, and... Uh, and you found any kind of value in it, I sure would appreciate you liking it, sharing it, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I wanted to, to say this, one of my students that I made the video with uh, the other day, or made the video for Trayvon, uh, his class, we, uh, we went outside Friday and uh, actually used the, uh, the tinder box uh, from South Africa and started a fire, outside of course, and um, they, uh, they came in after that, it was like a five minute fire. Came in after that and uh, one of my boys came up to me and said, Mr. Walker, you've just made a thousand subscribers. He had just subscribed evidently and um, to my YouTube channel. So I really appreciated that, hearing that. It's kind of been right, right below 1,000. Finally, we got a thousand subscribers and uh, we sure do appreciate all that you do to support us by watching and liking and, and just uh, being a part of this community. So what I thought I would do is uh, announce a giveaway. And uh, I don't do giveaways hardly ever, um, but for this, I think we will. And I will get uh, the giveaway organized and, and let you know what we're giving away uh, on the next video. So anyway, you guys take care. Thanks for watching and remember to keep doing the stuff with Self-Reliance.